All right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website, Mind Body Spirit Fitness. Link in the description box, social media related topics. This one's going to be more of a spiritual, this is going to be spiritual than body, right? We all know that gay mar marriage was just legalized yesterday. This is the day after by the Supreme Court. People are happy, you know, whatever. I think the new hashtag out there is love wins, something like that. Even though we all know if we've been in any relationship, I've been in plenty of relationships where I love the person so much and love just wasn't enough. So the love wins, I'm not too happy about that. But for this video, I'm calling out Christians, right? I didn't look in the Bible. I didn't try to do anything that way. But I know somewhere in there it says that we as Christians shouldn't judge others that are non-Christians. But it says when it comes to our own Christian community, we can judge and we can point out faults. We've got to realize when we're pointing out these faults, it's to help somebody, not to bash them and bring them down. So what I want to do with this video is I'm calling out Christians and how now all of a sudden we think that the, the sacrament of marriage has been destroyed. And I just want to point out to Christians how we have been destroying me, uh, marriage for a long time. We've been destroying it for tens of twenties of years and we're just not willing to look at ourselves and say we're part of the problem. So I want to start here with Christians, all right? I'm calling us out. I'm calling all of us Christian. I'm Catholic, Protestant, whatever the case may be. So first of all, what is, why is marriage between a man and a woman? This is, yes, a Christian teaching, but this is just the laws of nature, right? This is the laws of nature. Man and woman are the only ones that can create life. Same-sex marriage can't create life. That's pretty much it. That's our point of view. That has nothing to do with being a Christian. That's just in general. If everyone tomorrow decided that they wanted to um, have a same-sex marriage and everyone, went, everyone became gay, life, the human race would come to an end and life would, there would no longer be humans on this planet. That's why we say no. But how have we as Christians been destroying marriage itself? So what have we been doing? Big thing out there is abortion. Christians were out, we're out there having abortions, just as many as a non-Christian, right? We're having just as many. And for a gay couple, at least that's something that they can't participate in. They can't participate in the killing of a, of a human life. So we've got to give it to the gay community, the same-sex marriage community on that. At least they're not able to have abortions and kill innocent children. Next, we're going premarital sex. What is this? Sex and marriage is intertwined, right? We need sex in a marriage to create that life. And if we, as Christians, are engaging in premarital sex, we, right off the bat, are not only entering into our marriage unpure, but we are destroying the meaning of marriage by engaging in premarital sex. And I'm guilty of this one. Like I said, when I make these videos, I'm calling myself out just as much as the next person, right? So I've... I have destroyed the value of marriage for all Christians by participating in premarital sex. Next, we're going to be talking about divorce. Now that the same-sex marriage is, is passed, don't worry, they'll be divorcing just like us because we're too busy. Love wins. That's a thing. Love isn't enough sometimes. Now they're just going to have to go through the problem of now they're going to have to split up their stuff and all this and da-da-da-da-da, right? He gets half, blah-blah-blah, whatever the case may be. But Christians, what are we doing? We're getting just as many divorces as non-Christians. We're destroying the sacrament of marriage just like any, any other person on this planet is. So we want to sit on our horse like we're all high and mighty when we don't even take the sacrament of marriage seriously. We get divorced just like everyone else does. Right? Jesus himself said you will get married. You will have one. You will marry one person. You will become flesh. Or you will become one flesh. Right, And then the, the Jewish people were like, well, Moses let us divorce. He said, well, y'all, Moses just did that because y'all were weak. I'm saying now, you know, if you get remarried, you are committing adultery. So if you have been, re if, you've get, if you've got divorced, yes, you've already disrespected the sacrament of marriage. But now if you are remarried, you are committing adultery. You are disrespecting the law of God and marriage. Now, the Catholic Church has something called an annulment process, and I don't know too much about it. You know, it's something like they interview the husband, they interview the wife, they interview family members, and they talk about what 
was going on during the marriage. And then they will decide if that was a true marriage, if they entered into this knowing what, um, what marriage actually meant. And then you can get annulled. But a lot of times they will say, no, that's, that was a marriage. Too bad. But we as Christians have been disrespecting marriage for years. So it's our time to step up, right? So next is going to be contraception. What is contraception? It is sterilizing the sexual act. We are no longer able to produce life. Right? That's exactly what a same-sex marriage is. They cannot produce life. So if you are a married couple using contraception right now, you are disrespecting the sacrament of marriage. Let's get that through your head. Your marriage is no more valid in creating a family than a same-sex marriage. It's pretty much the same thing. The difference is they're a male and a male and a female and a female. But your when you, whenever you perform sexual act with your loved one it is a sterile relationship and no family can come from it so your sexual act is no different than theirs no different than theirs there's no difference and that's why the, the catholic church teaches that you should not be engaging in premarital sex or sorry in contraception because you are sterilizing the act of sex you are playing god you are not god you are playing god so what I want to ask the Christians out there watching this, why are we having sex? Sex and marriage is interlinked to create a family, right? One plus one equals three in that sense. We get the weird math equations there. And if you are enabling that from happening, why did we get married? Why? Did you only get married? You got to ask yourself this. Be honest with yourself. Did you only get married because you wanted to have sex? If that's the case, you're disrespecting the sacrament of marriage. Plain and simple, you're disrespecting it. What is the point? I don't see the point in getting married if you're not going to be able to do that. You can still date and you can still court each other. And when you truly say, I am ready to have children with you, you can make that marriage official. But if you're not willing to take that step and have that chance, then you shouldn't be getting married. And the Catholic Church has natural family planning where it goes off of the women's cycles, her body temperature, how she feels, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I'm not a man. I haven't looked into it. So that's why this video is calling out 99% of those Christians out there. Because that probably is 99% of Christianity of what I've just discussed in my list. You are, you, we are disrespect, disrespecting marriage just as much as anyone else out there. But now all of a sudden that this has happened, we have decided, oh my goodness, this is horrible. When we have dis been disrespecting the sacrament of marriage just as much as any other person out there. So unless you are not that 99% and you are that 1%, which is most likely a practicing Catholic. I don't even get that. A practicing Catholic. What does that even mean? Sorry, you know, a real Christian, someone following the, the, the real rules of Jesus and what, he is, and what he has taught us and the church has taught us. So if you're that 1% who is 30-some years old, a virgin, never used contraception, going into your marriage pure, and when you, have, and when you get married and you join with a man in the sacraments of matrimony, and you are not on contraception and giving yourself fully to each other and being capable of having children, they're the ones that can open their mouth and they're the ones that can talk about this, right? If we're not, you know, if we're not willing to take that step and say from this day forward, I'm no longer going to participate in premarital sex. From this day forward, I'm no longer going to participate in contraception so that I can live the full life of what God wants in a relationship. If I'm not, if you're going through hard times in a divorce right now, and if you're going to tell yourself, I'm not going to get divorced, then we shouldn't be opening our mouths. It's that 1% that they are allowed to actually talk and have a thought on this. Because they're the ones that are truly living out the word of God. And hopefully those are the ones where we can start listening to them more and hear how beautiful marriage actually is when we live it out as God planned it to be lived out. So once again, you know, a sin is a sin. If you're, if you're having premarital sex, that's no different. You, your sin is no less than someone who is in, engaging in homosexual activity. You know, if you're divorced, you know, it's like I said, same thing. If you're using contraception, same thing. A sin is a sin. We hate the sin. We love the sinner. That's how it goes. So Christians, I'm calling you out. Let's start living the sacrament of marriage 
the way we are supposed to. Let's start respecting life, respecting ourselves, respecting our loved ones, and respecting God and his, and his laws of most, you know, most of all. So I hope this video puts some food for thought out there, Christians. Let's step up our game before we decide to start saying anything about anyone else. So once again, subscribe to the channel, share and like these videos.